Previously on Welcome to Show. Enlighten us. Jingle, jingle all the way. <sighs> How is Jingle all the way not your worst Arnold movie? <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> I'll see you at the body, Richter. That's I'm just great. coming all the time every day. Uh, and if you guys don't know who these characters are, then fuck you. Douglas Quaid, baby! You know, I, who's a super motherfucking spy! Deviants, welcome to show. I am the Clitoris, and I am here with... The Gooch. And I am the Devo Slack. And we are the Social Deviants. Who are here today to talk about the undead. I don't know what you want to call them. You want to call them walkers? They're zombies. They're zombies. Uh, you want zombies. to call them? Uh, you want to call them uh, a bunch of different things? I, I want to call them zombie. Yeah, Living they're dead. zombies. I want to call them zombie. Zombies. Zombies. And not the zombies from what? What is that movie with uh, Bill Pullman? The color, the the, the, the color of the rainbow. No, uh, the, the, serpent, ser- the serpent, serpent and the rainbow. rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not that kind so of. So let's start off there. Let's let's just start off there. Let's talk about the origin of the zombie. And uh, I did a little bit of research. I don't know if you guys did any research. Of course um, we didn't, dude. We fucking this. Well, you well, did a little there's, bit. There's, there's, there's social exactly. demons, right? You, you probably did more. We, than we used I did to. We were also called the slacker farm, so that's why I was like, we're freaking slackers here. That's so, true. <laughs> a lot of people think that the the zombie is sort of a voodoo thing, and that it originated. Uh, from the like the voodoo religion, if it's if people might consider it a religion, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do. Right. Um, but it, fucking voodoo magic. The, man. the, 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 the term zombie magic. as we know it, like the idea of the living dead, is probably not originated in Haiti. Could probably have originated in like ancient a bunch of different ancient cultures. Okay. But the idea of the modern zombie, the 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 zombie that was the pr- the predecessor to what we consider now when we watch all these zombie movies in like modern like in an Amer- in like American or Western media, uh, was like the was the genesis of it was in Haiti, and but actually the 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 mechanism or the mechanism to create them and the the way in which they existed is much different than we see in modern times. Mm. And so at that time it was you would either do some sort of incantation or you would take some sort of herb, primarily an herb or a potion. Or maybe like the ganja? No, it didn't. Have, I mean, I don't think I don't think it had to do with smoking. It had well, I mean, to do with smoking. Well, I mean, it had to do with well, like well, ingesting. Or was well, like I mean, Resident Evil? You have you got to get the blue herb. In, in, the Aust- herb in Australia, the they herb. call what they call they call herb, they call zombie fall. So I just. That's what they call it. But I mean, I don't know if you guys are. From, I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like ayahuasca, where it's it is an herb, but it is like a liquid that you drink. No. Oh. Um, but that is like comprised of. Herbs I am a drug free person, Clint. So I have no idea what you're talking about. I know that you're lying. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll continue on. And the idea was is that the person who uh, performed this incantation or gave the person the potion that the zombie would actually. Uh, it's it's unclear whether they all had to die or they would sort of get to a state that was like zombie like and then they would become a slave of that person so oh yeah yeah, um, yeah. and so the the first um, no the first the idea is that the first uh, exposure that Americans had to this idea was when the US occupied Haiti uh, beginning in 1915 and they were exposed to the legend of the zombie and uh, and then you have shortly thereafter you have films that um, that appeared and one of the the movie that's considered to be the first full length zombie film is called, incidentally enough, White Zombie, which Rob Zombie took the name from. Right. Uh, and it's a Bela Lugosi film, I think from 1930s or 1920s, something like that. Okay. And it was this idea that like this guy wanted to uh, get this woman from this other guy, and he made her a zombie. Oh, so, but okay. she like died. He gave her some potion. She died, and when she and then like they resurrected her, they revived her, and then she was his slave. Gotcha. And so, so basically, like a mindless slave. Yeah. So uh, not necessarily okay. like there's no viral infection involved. There's nothing apocalyptic about it. It's just this person is a, uh, an undead. And uh, like Gooch mentioned, the serpent in the rainbow yeah. is based off a 1985 book that this guy did about this case. And um, 
I don't want to go too far into it because I haven't actually seen the movie. It's actually read, pretty good. I read yeah. up on it, and it's about this guy who investigates this uh, this case about someone who was supposedly a zombie. Yeah. And they and it, and it basically inter- introduces him and the audience to this idea that you can become in a zombie-like state through like a psychotropics like yeah or whatever yeah. you know like a psycho like a yeah like whatever. something psychotropic can, psychotropic. can we go back to white zombie real quick when the dude was going after that chick and she ended up dying but he brought her back to life was the pussy still warm i didn't watch a movie or was it dead cold pussy it's probably dead cold pussy no like back so? in 1938 well, we, old well, school we can stuff discuss that we can discuss that when we get into the mechanics of the zombie oh later. okay oh god so right. the anatomy of the zombie oh, yes of the undead so uh so that's because i have questions so that's the way it sort of it was introduced <laughs> to the united to like american audiences and then the modern zombie the zombie that we know of today, we all love, which was introduced uh, really by George Romero, yeah, uh, and Night of the Living Dead, and actually, if you go, but dare I say that's not even the zombie we know about today. That's the predecessor to the well, zombie. But that's- no, that, I think that I, I would say the thing is, is that in that movie they don't refer, they don't use the word zombie. No, and George Correct. Romero has said that the media was the one that first started using that term after the movie was released, mm-hmm. and so when he made the next movie, which was uh, Dawn, 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 Dawn of the, of the Dead. Dead, yeah. yeah. Uh, they used it once, I believe, or something like that, and he started to like appropriate the term. But he said that actually he didn't come up. And he even didn't still, it, he just said "Living Dead." Yeah, other people appropriated uh, put the appropriated the term yeah. "zombie." And even still, on Dawn the Dead, it's a news broadcaster that actually says it. Yeah, in the film. yeah, yeah. So, um, and and so from there, you have a bunch of iterations of zombies, and there were actually a lot of in- European films that were influenced by the Night of the Living Dead. They made their oh, own yeah. iterations of it, and they were and they have, were called this word "zombie," which actually didn't have an e at the end. Sometimes it's "zombie" or "zombie." Yeah. So I, I've seen the, the movie the "Zombie," where it's just "z o m b i." Yeah, and I, I don't recall. I'm pretty sure it was. It takes place in like a a Haitian mansion or something like that. Because I remember that there was. I, I don't remember a whole lot of the movie. I'm probably totally wrong on this, but it was like a slave owner, or it was like a white dude, and well, then of one of the. One of the um, uh, black slaves or workers died, but they were brought back to life, and it was basically like the whole like stupid, mindless kind of oh, and like he had kind of just abnormal strength, and he was able to you know kill his oppressor or whatever. And so this brings me to the point of there's a couple different, and so from there you have these like um, these permutations of zombies in media. And the method through which they are they arise, and so if we start with this uh, this voodoo, this fucking black magic. So man. like a magical a or magical, a supernatural. Uh, um, yeah, and then you, but then that's also, and so that is actually even connected to like a religious thing, where supposedly um, in the the Haitian or the voodoo religion, uh, it was that the god Baron Sumedi. I don't know if you've heard of this uh, this god figure. Supposedly, everyone there's like a soul, mm-hmm. and if you uh, if humans are if, if humans are good, then Baron Samedi will take their souls God and is good. take them to the afterlife. But yeah, not I'm not good, up to par on my voodoo magic on my voodoo left, gods. They'll so. become a zombie. Okay, and so that was like the idea essentially, right? Yes. Um, but this whole idea, uh, this whole idea of biblical things is big, right? And right. We see this even in the new Dawn of the Dead remake, where it's like has to do something with God. Or it has to do with something with heaven or hell or yes. something like yeah. that, right? When um, hell when hell fills up, then the dead will walk the earth. Walk in, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, and this is like a clear like Ju- Western Judeo Christian appropriation of a like a, a really a, a pagan uh, shamanistic idea, uh, I- idea, right? Right. Uh, so y- you have the biblical stuff, and then you have the magical things, right? And then you get into these scientific things, right? Viral infections, chemicals, you know, chemicals, yeah. radiation, zombie uh, STDs. Yeah, uh, mental yeah, diseases. I, I, apparently, there's a lot of those. I was <laughs> like, I was looking through that list of Wikipedia. There's a few yeah. that have to do with you get us like a new strain of an STD and you become a zombie. It really? was crazy. I was like looking through. I'm like, oh. I, I was clicking on some of those other on some of those films on you. There's a huge list on Wikipedia. So if you guys want to look on there, if you guys want to look at whatever type of zombie movie you want to look at there's on there and nice. i was looking at one i clicked on one and like oh what's this yeah this shit gets raped and <laughs> by a zombie i uh, know i apparently i guess this dude I, uh, the, the 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 synopsis was this dude goes to a morgue and fucks a body the body has so necrophiliac the, necrophiliac he fucks his body and the body has i guess the 
the zombie, the virus. zombie virus on him. Then he goes to rape this chick, and the chick gets the zombie virus by his dick. Hmm. So, boom. Got it. Zombie STDs. So, I had, so, do you guys... Okay, so we're talking about like the ways in which like and, and you know zombies the, can arise, right? And, and, and so, the, do you think that zombie... So, would you consider... Do you think that a mummy is a zombie? <sighs> Technically, yeah. Technically, yes, but then see, the, see that my problem was is that they have like the Evil Dead on there as zombie movies. I don't particularly think that's Why a zombie not? movie. It's it's like demons and yeah. stuff, demon Zomb- possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Evil demons are more no, because demons, demons I mean, are demons. I mean, yeah, but, but they, you can write okay, you so, can write a skeleton. A skeleton, a risen skeleton, isn't a zombie. Yeah. yeah but, so okay, there's so, there's there's demonic the possession, which is what you see more in an Evil Dead. So yeah. like, it, they are maybe dead bodies that are back to life. So it's technically the living dead. But it's the means, right? So the typical zombie, it's more of a like a government chemical um, uh, agent that brings these bodies back to animation. Yeah. But with things like the Evil Dead, it's an actual demonic possession. Yeah. These are demons from hell that are taking some sort of. They shape have and form. they have Doom, the one that was based on the game on there. I mean, I know there's zombies in there, but I don't think it's a zombie film. I mean. Well, I mean, we're not talking about films yet. I'm just talking about the zombie, like yeah. defining what a zombie is. Yeah. And so, so uh, if you don't think a mummy is a zombie, <sighs> and then... But we've already talked about how zombie, early zombie was, was, was you know, brought about through magic. And, yeah. and my understanding is a lot of the whole mummy, you know, coming back from the dead sort of thing is a ma- magical thing. Now, the thing that separates a mummy from a zombie is the fact that when we think of a zombie... It's usually a rotting corpse. You yep. think of a mummy, it's all wrapped up in bandages yeah, because of the mummification, true. right? And but what's under the bandages? A rotting corpse. Yeah, yeah. So it's a zombie. So they're zombies. Yeah. I, I guess they would be zombies. I suppose so. But and so that's and then what about you? How do you guys feel about the mental diseases like idea? So there's like two. There's like two two ways I'll, I'll approach this. Number one is. The twenty-eight days later thing, right? Where I like they become like these mindless creatures who just want to eat. I, people, I don't right? think. Where I don't cannibal. think because zombies. Like okay, the, so, the, the, so what what they, they call the rage virus or something. Rage virus. And yeah. then number two is you can get to a zombie-like state where you become like a zombie. You act like a zombie, but you never died, so to speak, right? And so those are like the two things. But then, do you have to die to then be a zombie? Uh, for me, I don't. I don't. I mean, I like 28 Days Later and then 28 Weeks Later, but they're rage and rage infected humans. I mean, they waited they waited six months for all the humans to die. Yeah, that, that's how they got rid of that's how they got rid of you know all the most of the infected. So then you yeah. Think, yeah. So, so, why don't, why, so why okay, granted, they're not. But then they're why not, do you think they're not zombies? Oh, I mean, they're zombies. No, because so, they're not. Like for me, uh, zombies are like the are the ar- archetypal the archetype archetypical. Um, like John Romero zombie, so you know, that's for me. And like, I'll, I'll simplify that. To me, a zombie is a dead body that has been reanimated. So do you consider uh, the Resident Evil zombies zombies? Um, in the video game, yes. But in the movie, no, because there weren't a whole lot of zombies in the movie that I remember. There's like that one scene I think in Resident Evil Two. Well, I mean, where zombies and, are coming actually well, out of the grave. Well, in but, part one, in part one, what happens is like the T virus. again, the, the, the T virus kills them and then resurrects them. But in the yeah. movie, yeah. But in the movie, my understanding is that those were more like the Twenty Eight Day Later kind of zombies. No, like they weren't no. Necessarily in, in, the, in the movie, they were dead. Like the like the part in part Resident Evil One. Okay, those, that's right. Yeah, because I remember like this, um, they were, uh, they were, Michelle Rodriguez. They were, she came the, back as yeah, a zombie. The zombie they the, were the dead. Virus, the, so, the virus kills you, but then when you reanimate. It's not like a George Romero zombie. You become like a monster. Yeah, exactly. but you are a living dead. Yeah, you know that they're zombies. Yeah. yeah, they're they're more of the they're more of the the you know the the, the two thousand three Dawn of the Dead zombie. Yeah, they're they're like more that aggressive. Type of they're more aggressive kept zombies. I mean, the John Romero, the John Romero nineteen sixty eight Night of the Living Dead George zombie. Uh, uh, what George Romero? George Romero. George Romero. <laughs> um, is you know the slow moving, but they have a little bit more strength type zombies. So yeah, they, they have a lot of strength, but they're not smart. Yeah, they're not smart, and you know they're not agile. But they do like to eat your eat your flesh and all that, that so do, stuff. So, okay, this is my other thing too. If you go back to the Haitian, the Haitian legend or the Haitian belief, uh, this whole idea of cannibalism with zombies um, or eating the flesh or whatever have you or has is not is not even part of it. No, yeah. And so, like maybe the George Romero probably maybe popularized that aspect of it. So, do you think that a zombie inherently desires to eat? Human flesh, or I think, I think in in our in, in the new way we see them, yes, because I think most zombie movies that we see, 
That's what that's what they are, and that and that they came from John uh, George Romero. Yeah, say George, George Romero. Because you t- keep talking about Doom. Doom, exactly. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'll put it this way: it <coughs> it was more about the brain aspect because I know when I was younger, growing up, whenever we talked about zombies, it was like brain, brain. 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 That actually came from Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, that was Return of the so Living Dead. So there was Dead, one yes. zombie that's like. It was the first zombie that could talk. It's like brains. Yeah. And then there's one point where a undertaker captures a zombie and it's actually having a conversation with the zombie. He's like, why do you keep going after brain? And like, he's like, what do you want? What do you want? And the zombie's like, brains. And he's like, well, why do you want brains? She's like, the pain. Yeah. To kill the pain. So apparently, according to Return of the Living Dead, the zombies are feeling this sort of like et- eternal pain. And the only way that they can, they can nullify that pain is by eating brains. Now, to me, if you take that concept, you put it to like normal zombie, that's just, it's, it's, not a smart creature. It's dumb. It's laborious. But there's a hunger, and we see this in you know the Walking Dead, the uh, Living Dead films. The zombie. It's not just trying to kill you. Whenever it goes and like it rips your guts out, it's immediately putting those guts in its mouth. They're always feeding. So there's yep. something about being a zombie that creates this hunger, and that's something I don't think a lot of people or a lot of filmmakers have actually really explored. You just see the zombie that goes, and it's like, it's, it's like all right, this person's going to get attacked by a zombie. How gory can we make it, right? So you get, see guys getting like their arms and their guts ripped out and uh, like their eyes popped out, but the zombie's always eating it. You always see a zombie chewing on an arm or chewing on yep. guts or something like that, but why? We don't know why. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit later about... I think it's a symptom of the fact that all these zombie movies are really never just about zombies. They're really just about people. Yeah. yeah. All the, it's, all the it's, media. They're all survivor movies. So, so, so yeah. we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a second here. But I, okay, so you mentioned you mentioned uh, just just right now about how the zombie is not smart. And so the, I got to ask you about two cases. And the first one is Day of the Dead, where that zombie starts to speak. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was a little interesting little twist, which is actually why that's one of my favorite zombie movies ever. Um, that particular one, uh, because of that wrinkle. Um, that's what the two thousand eight one. No, 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 no. Like it, it was, it was eighty five one. Yeah, right, the, the sequel right, to right, Dawn of the, the Dead. Yeah, because right, yeah. 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 the idea behind that is that zombies still. Yeah, they retain some of their humanity. Their humanity. And this is the thing in Dawn of the Dead too. That's why everyone was at the, the mall, mall because that's what they did in their regular life. Exactly. Right? So, yeah. So that to me is a very interesting concept, and and the fact that there was a zombie that was smart enough to, to when he saw a phone, he was able to pick up the phone, and pretend like try to dial like he knew what that was. Um, he was a former soldier, so they placed a gun in front of him. He picked up the gun, kind of bapped it around, bapped it around, looked at it, realized what it was, cocked it, and then pointed it at his captor and started pulling the trigger. It was empty, of course, so he didn't shoot anybody. But that's the that's one where they go to that, that island and they're like practicing on, on those... On it's the, not an island, it's like a military base, like oh, yeah, in the middle okay, of nowhere. Yeah, 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 they yeah. go to the island at the end. At the yeah, end, right. Yeah, right. so, um, and to me that's a very interesting concept because yeah. um, you, you see that in some sort of zombie movies nowadays, so like there's a... Um, and I know we're kind of skipping ahead here talking about stuff, but like I Zombie, it's about a smart zombie. So uh, a character who is actually the living dead, but she just lives a whole, a normal life. Warm Bodies is similar to that as um, well. And that's the British one, right? On the BBC? No, uh, no uh, Warm Bodies is the one where the guy, it's like a love story. Like okay. Romeo and Juliet. Um, and there's another show on BBC. Uh, I, f- I don't know what it's called, but it's about um, zombies who uh, receive a serum and they start to become human again. And they're like they're they're typically human, but their bodies are still dead. Yeah. Oh, that's so and so like they have to wear makeup and stuff like that in order to to, to look like they're alive. But mm-hmm. there's like militias out there. They're like, well, you're dead. Let's let's keep you dead. And they go out and try to hunt all these zombies. And it's really yeah. weird because the story that I watched follows this guy who's being reintroduced into his family life. And so his mom and dad are like trying to be like, hey, Bobby. And I, this is just a random name. Like, you know, welcome home. Yeah, da, da. we're glad you're back. But he's like. You know, he he keeps getting flashbacks of just being this animal and wanting to eat, you know, flesh and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> it's a really crazy show. Mm, okay. Um, okay, so that brings me to my my another point here is, uh, do you consider Frankenstein's creature a zombie? Yes. Do you really? Yeah. And I think he's an abomination. He's he's a he's an amalgamation of human parts. That was that was. Because he's actually scientifically engineered books, to come back. Not to life. only is he very intelligent, but he is like 
um, has like super speed and super strength. Because he, but he's made from different parts of human, other of different yeah. Type of people, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. See, that's he's an abomination. It's different. So he's not a zombie. Okay. I don't think he's a zombie. He's an abomination. But he's like a human, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Interesting. Um, so how do you? Okay. So let's talk about how. Um, so there's. So if you go back to the Haitian legend, a zombie is a zombie, and it is a slave of an of of the person who created it, and that's it. Yeah. And then you get this, and then the zombie is 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 exposed to American culture, and you get this idea that a zombie can create another zombie. And, yes. And 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 this. Uh, create and because a zombie can create another zombie, then you get into this idea that a z- zombie outbreak, right? Like this becomes the thing, mm-hmm. and this is like mostly what American media has latched onto this idea of the zombie outbreak. Yes, and so it becomes this allegory for a bunch of different things that actually have nothing to do with the Haitian legend, right? Right, and so um, I wanted to talk about what do you guys think is. Are the all the different ways in which zombies can create other zombies, and how other people can create them? So the first thing I want to start off with is that it is Walking Dead, and I know you guys have probably seen at least. I know Devin's watched a lot. Uh, Gooch, I'm yeah. sure you've seen. Uh, either you know what it is at least. I know what it is. Yeah. And so in that it. story, it's everyone is already everyone, no matter what happens to them, whether they are killed by a zombie, whether they are killed by a gun, or whether they die of natural causes. When they die, they become a, they they come back to they are reanimated as a zombie. So yeah. everyone already has the whatever, whatever it, it makes, is whatever it is that makes them a zombie is already there. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen that in any other like no, zombie thing it, before. In, in every other zombie thing, the idea is that everybody's safe, inherently safe. It's if you get bitten by a zombie. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But then you, that, that you, one, if you get bitten by a zombie, then somehow you die from the bite. In even in Walking Dead, just because you got because, bit, yeah, because even, not not that like getting bit here, you could just cut, you could just, I mean, you could live. Yeah, you could just let it well, heal. The idea but it won't is heal. the idea is you. is you've got the rotting flesh biting into you, so it causes the infection. The infection spreads so and fast kill, and kills you, and kills you. So that's what it is. It's it's, yeah. a, it's like a hyperactive infection. So that's why if you get a zombie bite, then it's like, and they find out in the Walking Dead that if you actually remove that part then the person's body only has to heal to like losing an arm as opposed to fighting this crazy you know hyperactive infection so it's a, it's not a, absolute though cuz some people have like cut off the limb that got bit and they still turn and they still turn because it, they didn't get it quick enough so yeah. i think there's this idea that like it is time sensitive you got to but let's look at all the other all the other permutations of of zombies in like you have the viral infection obviously uh, you have the um the the magical thing the radiation uh, type thing uh you you, you have a uh, mental diseases like the rage virus and so forth right but even the rage virus if they got bit and they died they became well no no they didn't die they, in the rage virus so they got they got bit and they got the virus that's what and i'm they saying be, they became they became a rage filled human yeah so they they never, but you didn't even have to get bit you just had to get infected yeah, yeah, by yeah, the blood yeah. cuz remember oh, um, right, the like blood went uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah exactly Dean, uh, uh, gleason yeah, the, when the blood dripped yeah. in his eye, and, yeah. and like it, it almost like went immediately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so much That's capillaries crazy. in your in your eye that the reason why you got you got infected so quickly. So, so, I'm, so I I'm I'm keeping the 28 days later because they're not zombies; they're just rage, they're just mad humans. But it's like it's like mad. So mad you think human. that you think that zombies can create other zombies, or do you think that like because I mean I mean that's usually what I mean, happens. Right? According to the stories that we've seen, and obviously the zombies create other zombies. I mean, it's what what's whatever turned them can turn humans into zombies now the question is is whether or not like in uh in uh night of the living dead the original one is that where they were already dead like entombed in the ground yeah coming up you know so how does that how does, that, how does that factor it's into different everything? you know it's different because i think the his is like a more of a more abstract magical type thing but they turned it into where where the, I think the I think what he, what what you were saying is that made this, it scientific exactly I don't know they, I don't think they ever made it scientific even in no, even by Resident Evil they did well Resident Evil they did because that's a different story it's just in Night of the Living Dead in, in Night of the Living Dead they never they never re- actually said they never actually said what caused it Resident Evil they did uh, in Resident Evil they did in in Return of the Living Dead they did in Chuds they did in Return of the Living Dead it's like a it's like a 
bio nuclear type of like Return of the Living Dead. It was, it's an actually it's 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 a government experiment. Yeah, it's like it's like a yeah. if you it's like an FEV if you guys watch Fall, but if you watch Fall, it's it, like this weird experiment it's, that it's, turned. It's into a movie. government experiment, and they actually had it contained in yeah. these in these canisters, but some dork in his. And wherever he was like working, he and his boss open one of them up. Yeah. And it sprays him in the face, and they're the ones that actually start to spread the and, and Chud's is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Um and, and to uh, to kind of step back to the whole mummy is a mummy a zombie thing. In the video game Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, they go to a a, a pyramid and they fight mummies. So well, I mean zombies ain't my neighbors. Confirmed. There's a, there's Confirmed. a there's there's a giant baby zombie in there. Come on. What was about a, necromancy? We didn't talk about this too. It, it, you consider a zombie the result of someone performing necromancy, because that's kind of it could, that, I mean, that, that's Evil Dead right there, right? That's the Necronomicon, Necronomicon. right? It, it, it could, in a sense, where it's actually like he takes a. And the problem, the problem with me with that is that is that you never see anyone getting bitten or anything like that in 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 Evil Dead. And well, like turning because it's not a virus. It's because it's not a virus. Even if it's magical, I mean, I mean, the it's, chick. It's the monarch. And like, 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 like his girlfriend gets gets possessed even before she's dead. You know, by the by the by the thing, and then she has to kill him. He has to kill his just like he has to kill his girlfriend, and you know, shut off or chip off her head, and the chick. Is dancing around and the table of terrible, you know, her titties are flying around and her zombified <laughs> body, and, and, but she was already a she was already a demon. She was already demonic possessed before before Ash even killed her. So I don't I don't think that's a zombie. Now I mean I mean Would you consider a vampire a type of zombie? No, no, because he's he is they died and they came back to life <sighs> most of the time. There's some vampires that obviously the 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 mechanism is a little bit different. One's a what like one's like you say a mummy is a zombie. One's a living undead, and then the other one's just a walking undead. Because I think so. So I, I think I think there's 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 undead that has these different tiers. <laughs> or right? the you un- got your mummies, mummies zombies, zombies, or vampires, or, or the vampires are the unliving. It's one. It's, it's there's a undead, there's yeah. a, there's actually, a different. I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. yeah, I think that's true. But I think that zombie is. It's a, a a very specific group subgroup of the undead. So you, you would know. say undead and zombie are not synonymous terms. Correct. Yeah, zombie is like because I mean, like you just said, vampire and undead. Yeah. It is technically an undead, but yeah. a vampire and the way you become a vampire, the way that you live as a vampire, very very different. The way you operate as a vampire, very very different from a zombie. Yeah. Same thing with a mummy. You know, mummies. Um, my understanding are really just tools. Yeah. You know, they they are risen. They're used for a purpose, and they go back to rest. Yeah, once the curse is over, and they they they're gone. Yeah. Yep. Do you, so, so vampires need blood to sustain life to live forever. Um, and some of them, most of them, right? Uh, do, what, do zombies need to eat humans to actually stay to stay in the state, or will they just die eventually, or will they just think, stay? So, and and, and that's kind of what we were touching upon earlier. Like, we know that there's a hunger there. There's a hunger for some reason, but we don't know that reason because yeah. I I haven't seen any type of media, movie, film, TV actually tackle why they consume the human flesh. Yeah, with the exception of Return of the Living Dead, where they say the brains help ease the pain that the zombies are feeling, but. There's something there now. Whether or not that's for sustenance to continue living or continue moving as a zombie, we don't know. Um, but at that point, then it's really just a a, a a mirror image of a vampire. It's just a less sexy version, you know, because your yep. your your entire body's just rotting off. So, <laughs> how would you guys characterize the? So, the big part of the zombies is is that at least in American zombies, is you need to kill them, in right. order to survive. And there's a lot of different like ideas on how you kill a zombie and what constitutes killing a zombie. There's ones where you just have to cut the head off. You have to sever the the spinal cord. There's other ones where even if you sever the spinal cord, the head the is head's still, still alive. alive. Right. The body is still alive. You cut a hand off, the hand will start moving. And uh, it, it's a magic... I mean, I don't know how it knows what to do, um, but obviously there are some movies where the hand like becomes its own thing yeah. And, yeah. and so forth. Uh, and... So, what do you guys think is like the way that they are killed? And I mean, they could be burned up, they could be sliced yeah, up, they could be. For me, I think it, it. And they're decomposing. Some of them are decomposing, some of them are just living dead. And if you're decomposing, you would think that the decomposing would go to an extent that they would essentially become a skeleton. And once yeah. they're a skeleton, are they still? Did they? Is so, they alive anymore? So we what do see some skeletal zombies. They're not pure skeletons. They still have you know rotting flesh on them and things like that. 
for me, it's 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 the decapitation leads to the death of the brain, and you see a lot of zombie movies, especially I believe the Living Dead movies, where you have to shoot them in the head. Yeah, you have to or, destroy the brain or yeah. or cause severe trauma to the brain. Yeah, and there's something about the brain that keeps the zombie alive, which is ironic because. You know, you look at the a rotting corpse, like, how long does it take for a brain to decompose once the body dies? Like, is there enough there that will keep the, that the virus can attach to to reanimate that corpse? And maybe that's something that, that, that um, you, you take into consideration to the type of zombie that you get. Yeah. Maybe the longer a body has been decomposing, you're going to get the more stupid zombie. But if it's a fresh body, maybe they're going to have a little bit more of their humanity, like Bob in Dawn, Day of the Dead. Mm, good point. So do you guys think that if... Oh, so say the zombie apocalypse happens, and this is like something that's contagious, um, and you basically get this, uh, this dynamic where the zombies are starting to become... The percentage of, of, of beings on Earth... The, the zombie percentage grows yeah. and the human percentage uh, dwindles. dwindles. And so it would, in every other, most other situations in nature, that means that the apex uh, uh, being is dominating the inferior being. Right. And in this case, uh, I don't think that anyone thinks that uh, a, a zombie is superior to a human, but they definitely are wiping them out and right. supplanting them. So would you guys say that that the zombie is a progression of humanity or a regression. And I think usually it's characterized as a regression, like it's a punishment. The zombie is present because human beings are bad in some way. Modern, modern, like even more recently, like in the since maybe the Dawn of the Dead type thing, like George Romero era. I think I think the state of a zombie is a regression, but whether it's a punishment, I th- that's kind of hard to say. Yeah. To me, if you say that being a zombie is a punishment, then that means there's somebody or something using it as a tool. You mean like God? God or government or some science group like uh, yeah, okay, uh, fair Umbrella enough. Corporation. Um, and that's that's some like Umbrella Corporation. That's obviously like they might not be punishing humanity, but they're creating, you know, chemicals and viruses and they're doing something nefarious deeds uh, uh, to create this undead army. But you look at like a Walking Dead or Night of the Living Dead. There's not really something that points to somebody utilizing an undead army or creating the undead for any sort of act against humanity. And and, and honestly, if you I don't know if you guys watched uh, the original Night of the Living Dead recently, um, but at the end they allude to that they were actually winning against the they were actually winning against the undead. Right, because yeah. they were they were like burning the bodies. They're like, yeah, well, these- but but that's one specific. Well, well, like, I, that's I, one area. But I understand that. But if one area can win against it, I mean, I mean, eventually that'll well, you know it'll 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 cascade out. But but it doesn't because it, it goes to day of the well, dawn I, of the dead. I, I, I and think day I, of the dead. Well, I think I, the I, I think I think the reason why is because you know neither the living dead got so big. John uh, George Romero was like, well, I'm gonna make another one. You know, right. I, I I think that's the reason why he did it this way, but. I think eventually, human humans are crafty. I mean, they would either one find if it's a virus, if it's a virus thing, they would probably find a a a a, a, a cure to this virus, you know, yeah. or the human body itself would it will cure it because that's how it usually works. Yeah, you know, once it works through with the humanity, you know, it weeds out the weak, you know, and, it leaves only the strong. And that's one thing. thing that kind of bugged me about The Walking Dead is in season one when they go to the Center for Disease Control and they meet up a, with a guy there. And like they're like, oh, we can finally find somebody to help us make a cure for this whole thing. And he's like, oh, I'm not working on anything because we all have it. Doesn't matter. Like to me, that was like a cop out. Like, well, there's no way that we're going to be able to fix it, so no one's going to try. That's and then bull like, crap, dude. at that point, then they're like, well, like, what's the whole point? Like, it eventually gets to some sort of storyline where it's like one guy's like, there's a cure in Washington, so we're all going to go to Washington. But apparently, that was just bullshit anyway. So, uh, um, you know, like at least in the other movies, there's a shred of hope. Yeah, you know? there always in, is. In, in The Walking Dead, to me, the only hope that they have is just building community. You know? Like, it's what, eight seasons now? And everything has really been about evading zombies and building community. Evading zombies, building community. 
the problem with building community is that there are other humans out there that want that community. So, right. they, so not only have to, you have to fight the zombies, you have to fight the humans, and you have to fight the rapists and all sorts. Of, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's let's finish this this uh, this part this half this half of the pod off talking about a couple a couple little things. Like your final thoughts on this on this idea. So we've gone through the the evolution of the zombie from its origins to the modern uh, right. representations and. Uh, we've talked about the like the how human beings have used the zombie to uh, put forth this idea of apocalypse. Like you have nuclear apocalypse, you have the end of things as we know it, right? And because of that nature, it's become extremely popular. Yes. And not only are they more popular than they've ever been, but the amount of interest in it is as much as it's ever been. And not only that, it's become this thing where like they're making. Uh, comedy zombie movies. They're making yeah. action movies where uh, the zombie, it, like you, you're making a movie that really has nothing to do with zombies, but the zombie is this outside of the of the story. And what are your thoughts yeah, on I mean, like, you, why the zombie has become you, so popular? You mentioned warm bodies. I think that is a zombie love story, dude, between a human woman that is not zombified with the guy that plays Beast that is a zombie. Uh, be, uh, young Beast. Oh, that movie! Yeah, oh, that was, I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's like a good that. movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's it's a funny, it's an interesting film. Why? Why do you think that? I think it just. Actually, I don't know why. I mean, the, the problem is like <laughs> Dawn of the, Dawn, the Dawn was of the, honest. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead was so good. I think people were like, you know what? This, I think that they, they we can make a lot of good films with that. Yeah. But it's funny because from where when when Dawn of the Dead two thousand four, I believe, I think that was the date of that Dawn of the Dead. Uh, the remake yeah, of it, 2004. Uh, 2004. There was a resurgence into zombie films, yep, and TV and media in general, yeah. And there was really good stuff, like uh, Walking the Walking Dead comic book, yep, uh, which turn, obviously turned into huge, the, the huge yeah, AMC TV, uh, TV show. Um, there was a few video games. Oh yeah, you know, uh, Dead, Dead Island, Rising. Dead Dead Rising, Dead Island, uh, Left for Dead. Not for dead from uh, from uh, uh, from Steam, and then of course all the the tie-in zombie game zombie like uh, uh, well, Resident uh, Evils. Well, Resident Evil, of course, you know, Resident like Evil, Call of Duty, the zombie. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. all this saturation and all this media. I mean, there was in the comic books. There, I mean, there was like there was like zombie. There was like the zombie X Men and that that whole thing. Oh, Marvel zombies. Mar- Marvel yeah. zombies. Yeah, I mean it was really good. So there was, there was, there's there's Pride and Prejudice and zombies. And Pride, well, yeah. that, that was that was terrible. <laughs> but it's, but it's odd. But you're but, talking about the but, saturation of it. Yes. Yeah, but like yeah. 20 years ago, you would have never thought. That no, that of happened. course not. And so, so well, I shouldn't say 20 years ago. Maybe 30 years ago, we're getting old. I mean the saturation. <laughs> the saturation of it has been so prolific at this point where. I mean, I actually don't understand why, how it's happened. I mean, there's been some good movies. Zombie Land's a great film. It is, you know, and and that's a zombie. It's Shaun of the Dead, yeah. you know. So there's there's been this like zombie. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's popular. And, 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 and here's here's okay, my, mind you, I think it's been too oversaturated. And that's why I actually don't watch Walk of the Dead. Thing. People people well, complain I, about Marvel movies. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. If it makes dollars, yeah. yeah. And like I used to be like really into zombies because of you know you had your Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and then once the Dawn of the Dead remake came about, that yeah. I felt was like the catalyst of like, hey, zombies are cool, especially now that they run yeah. and they're all like super fast and like crazy, like. That made zombies sexy, and then yeah. you had the Walking Dead comic, and then the TV show. Like the Walking Dead TV show, like Clint will text me, he's like, "Oh, did you watch this?" I was like, "No, nah, like I haven't watched Walking Dead in a while." It's like, really? Why? It's like the Walking Dead just like burnt me out with zombies. Yeah. Like it's it happens so often, it's so consistent, and it's not even about the zombies anymore. We talked about this earlier, how it's more about survival. And like for me, if I watch like like say a Friday the Thirteenth movie, like I don't want to watch a movie about the campers. I want to watch Jason killing the campers. Yeah, that's, like, what, I that's what the story is about. Yeah. And for me, like same thing with zombies movies. Like you, even if you look at Night of the Living Dead, it's not a movie about zombies. It's actually a social commentary movie. Yeah, the original Night of the Living Dead. Yes, but it's so good. Yeah, and it's mostly about the zombies. And then you got this surprise turn at the end where you've got your first, you know, major African American hero in a film. Well, mm-hmm. maybe that might not be true, but at least in a horror film. And then he gets murdered at the end because some fucking redneck thought he was a zombie. Yep. And then you look at the other, you know, Night of the Living Dead movies, it's 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 about how humanity is going to survive, but they focus a lot more on the zombies yep. and how people are kind of like interweaving with that stuff. 
there is that oversaturation and to me it's just like I feel like the zombie is kind of this the easy cop out when it comes to horror movies you look at a lot yeah. of B movie sort of stuff like you don't see a lot of demonic stuff you see a lot more z- like cheesy zombie movies like yep. you were saying like there's uh, even the Return of the Living Dead was a cheesy zombie knockoff oh, movie. Yes. Well, it I mean, was it was it was, was, it was it was George Romero's partner, and you know, George Romero went in one way, and then the the guy that he partnered with to make Night of the Living Dead was like, you know what? I want to go this way. Boom! Yeah. Return of the Living Dead. And, and then and then didn't you say that there was a Return of the Living Dead rave to the grave? Oh, dude, they keep making that's that's Return of the Living Dead Part Five. Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> and, and we didn't even get the House of the Dead. Uh, exactly. Oh my God, that, was just that starred Erica Durant actually. And you get to see your top. So, um, and, and there, so I, I even want to, so I want to close it by saying, I want to close the first part of this uh, zombie uh, legend of the undead uh, oh epic uh, is that zombies have become so prevalent and so popularized and so normative as a, a, a normative character in uh, modern, in American media that the CDC, yeah. Uh, released a blog post called Preparedness 101 Zombie Apocalypse and it and you can go check it out it is uh, a, it's a basically a metaphor used to raise public awareness for emergency preparedness right um, but it's this idea that like zombies have become so popular that the CDC has used the the zombie as a medium through which they can educate the public for something that they believe is really serious because uh, it's uh, they believe that the way that you prepare for a zombie apocalypse is very similar, at least ideologically, to how you would prepare for like a viral outbreak. Right. Uh, and so I think that this is like um, intertwined in the the entertainment aspect of zombies, but also why the zombie metaphor, the zombie, the allegory of the zombie, po- uh, the zombie metaphor itself, and the allegory of the zombie apocalypse. Is resonates so so significantly and so uh, so personally with a lot of people because even though like you guys have you, you guys have said uh, that the zombie is very uh, oversaturated in, in in the media and uh, shows like The Walking Dead uh, yep. uh, maybe overdo it. Um, it's still the most popular cable television show on TV and it is it's a great show. It is for a reason. Yeah, and it, it it's it, it's a great show, but also it's something that people are still really interested in. Right. Yeah. Um, so we will be back on Thursday Thursday with part two zombie part two